are you, Andre? Hey, Javier, how are you? Excellent. Whoops, what happened there? We're in manual. This is a 10 speed, dude. Yeah, exactly. I'm using only the first one. That's okay. So, the last time we, we talked, we were in Barcelona driving a Swedish car. Yes. Uh, building. Uh, no, that's not building China. Where is the Volvo XC60 build now? I think, you know, in. Uh, in Sweden? Sweden? No, I think it's in no. Austria or Belgium, somewhere somewhere in Europe. Yeah, somewhere in Europe. But, but now we're driving a Japanese car built in the US. In New Hampshire? In New, well, yeah, the car is built in Ohio, <laughs> but we're in New Hampshire, so yes. don't get confused with the geography yes. lesson. Yeah. But this is an all new 2018 Honda Accord, completely new car. I know. And it's the 10th generation, so maybe the Honda should call it like the Honda Accord X, like the iPhone, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, they first started what in the early 80s, 82, 81, 82, 82. 82. Started, like selling in the US. Yes. And uh, they've sold since then, they've sold 13 million units. And that accounts to if you will, will divide the, the, the number of cars sold by in time, it's two every second. Every two, no, two, two no, every one minute. every two seconds. I'm sorry. Wow, that's insane. That's I mean, like the, in the, in the time that I, I, I try to fix my mistake, they sold like five. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible, huh? So they've made this car a little bit wider, a little bit shorter overall, um, a little bit outside, lower. Yeah. But, but inside interior is much bigger. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. The, the engineering to uh, achieve those, uh, those numbers for the interior cabin is like amazing. You sat in the back. You're much taller than me and you were pretty comfortable back there. Was I'm 6'2 and I have miles of legroom in the yeah. back seat. When I go straight up, you know, I touch the ceiling just a little bit in the back. But nobody sits like that all the time. No, yeah. but in the front it's such a comfortable car. Yeah, you know. And uh, so they have uh, obviously different variants. They have uh, two gas engines, 1.5 turbo, yes. one two liter turbo. Yes. They have... Uh, I think three transmissions or four transmissions. They have a manual that we drove this morning. It was six pretty speed, nice. Yes. That was really yeah. nice. They have the CVT, they have a six speed automatic, and this is the 10 speed automatic. Right, and a hybrid also. So, oh, the hybrid, so, yeah. So let's go over this again. So, three engine choices. Yeah. And at least three different transmissions, and you can mix and the match combos, a little bit. Yeah, yeah that makes so sense. So, the CVT that. is a 1.5 liter with the CVT or a six speed manual. This is the two liter, which is the premium engine. Uh, no more V6, by the way. I know, yeah. Completely Every, get rid of the V6. Everybody is uh, downsizing on that, but like more power, yes. more efficiency. More also. torque. More torque. More torque. So uh, in the times that the automotive industry is uh, going crazy with crossovers and sedans, people still kind of forget how important this segment is because they're gonna sell, I mean, last year they sold over two million units of the mid-size sedan. Yeah. Very important, and this car competes with the Toyota Camry, mm -hmm. Ford Fusion, yeah. Kia Optima. Uh, which other there's ones a, they there's have a there? Lot. There's a lot. I mean, Chevy Malibu. The Malibu. I mean, there's so the many. Nissan, yeah. Nissan Altima. Altima, yeah. So but many. This car, I don't know. I mean, I, I've driven all of them, uh, including the new Camry, which is like the number one in terms of overall sales. overall sales. That includes a lot of fleets. Uh, but no, Honda is number one in direct sales to customers. So that's like, I mean, people are like speaking out like why they, they, they like this better, I guess. Yeah, and Honda told me that they, the reason why they don't sell to fleets is because they want to maintain the residual value, resell higher, value of the yeah. car, keep it higher. And they also told me that brand loyalty is very important in this segment. You know, people who love Camrys and people who love Accords yeah. tend, to change, stay, yeah. Yeah, tend to stay in those camps. And I think they, they've done, besides the, the design uh, update and the technology update, one thing they are done, they have done, that I think is really smart, is including the Honda Sensing safety package standard in all the cars. I think when people talk about buying options in, in a car, I think that's the number one thing that they should, everybody should buy because in the long term, that's gonna save you money, no matter what, because it's gonna avoid accidents pretty much. It's amazing to me that if just a couple of years ago we had to pay a lot of money, For sometimes things, yeah. one thousand or maybe more money to get those safety technologies, and now every car has it. Yeah, and, and this car is gonna the the, the top uh, trim of this car is gonna be around thirty-seven, maybe thirty-five, thirty-seven. Yeah. That's a lot of car for that kind of money. I mean, because I mean, you're really getting 
it's not a luxury car per se but it looks really nice most of the materials are really really nice uh, the interior like this is wood uh, yeah uh, some plastics are a little hard underneath yeah and the top plastics look nice yeah everything yeah. that you see or touch more constantly Close, yeah, yeah uh, it's pretty nice material and again like this is a uh, gas engine and super quiet inside yeah and what do you think about the button transmission so Honda did this on several vehicles yeah I think right? it saves a lot of space obviously for the cup holders here and like actually room to maneuver mm -hmm. around it's a little confusing in the beginning but I don't know I mean you get, can get used to it I mean fact, this is more important to me I think the volume the now volume now oh, I mean yes. when they brought that back it's like okay I like the car again Honda <laughs> The way you designed the AC HVAC system knobs for temperature and fan and volume controls and um, tuning, so simple. Exactly. Number one uh, improvement, I think, just the, the volume knob. Never mind. Controls. Never mind. More rigid car. Yeah, exactly. More lightweight car. Better torque. Better value. Uh, better, more efficient. The most important thing is yeah. the knob. Yeah, because obviously, I mean, like. The, the new technology is really nice, but when it's difficult to operate, it's like defeats the purpose. Yes. So, uh, this is old school, I guess, but still, people know where these things are. When you're driving, you don't get distracted looking for it and trying to control it with your finger on the mm -hmm. screen. So, like, Honda, very, very good uh, work on that. Again, just to round up on the Accord, I, I really like the car. I mean, the design, it's it's very attractive. It doesn't look like boring, like mid, mid, mid mm -hmm. sides and that. It's like yeah. something really nice. I think that the line of the roof going up from the front to the back, there's a lot of little details of the chrome that they use in the back to wrap up the bumper and all that. Like, really nice whole package, I think. Yeah, I, I love the car, but I found two issues. Okay. First, the starting price is a little bit higher than some competitors. Um, so it's a few hundred dollars more than a Camry. But um, if you get the Honda Sensing safety thing, I mean, that more or less balances the, the yeah. that, and, that, right? And number two is fuel efficiency. These engines are very torquey, the turbocharged engines, but the efficiency is not quite there. For example, a 2.5 liter Camry gets 41 mpg on the highway. Yeah, almost like a hybrid. Yeah, yeah so, and this is a several mpg lower. So. I think Honda made a conscious decision, right, to go for more torque, a little bit more, more power. More experience, yeah, more like the, the whole experience of the car. Yeah. And I guess, I mean, like, for now, at least, gas prices are still low in the US, so for the moment, yeah. at least, people are gonna say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna buy this car because it gives me a better driving experience, even though the MPG is not as something else that I could get for the, for the same money. So, a little bit of compromise there, but again, um, Good, good package. Oh, one thing with the hybrid and uh, talking about the engineering, yeah, it, the, the battery used to be in the trunk and you will lose like almost half of the space back there. Now they re engineer, they make uh, they put the control unit in the front, they put the battery under the seat so you don't lose any space either on the trunk or in the cabin yeah. for the passenger. So that was a like, really good, uh, and also pass through you can still fold the seats exactly. in a hybrid and put a longer item in the, in the trunk. Huge improvement in terms of utility so again like with any other cars uh, you there's like a, a lot of good things and maybe some things that are not that good but like that's why we we live in a free market you can make your choice you can make a decision well thank you Andrea. thank you Andre all right sounds good